Rwanda's Ministry of Education, in collaboration with its development partners, conducted a TVET week from 2nd to 8th, October 2015. TVET means technical and vocational education and training. The purpose of TVET week was to share experiences with a focus on quality, innovation and employment promotion. The TVET week was characterized by a number of activities. One of them was the African Ministerial Conference on Technical and Vocational Skills Development. It was held under the theme, Promoting Investment in Skills and Competencies Acquisition by Trainers and Entrepreneurs in African Countries. The conference sought to create conducive conditions for TVET trainees to easily integrate employment skills into their trades. Speaking at the conference, Rwanda's Education Minister said, integrating private companies in TVET will promote youth employment. It is important to know that expanding TVET does not solve the problem of unemployment or productivity of the economy, nor does it provide the proper response to the desired poverty eradication. TVET has to respond to the needs of the labor market and create a competent, motivated, and adaptable workforce capable of driving economic growth and development. It is such a TVET system that has been adopted by the government of Rwanda to provide the proper response to the ambitious goals set in Rwanda's economic development and poverty reduction strategy, which is currently in second phase. TVET Week was an opportunity for TVET schools and the private sector in Rwanda to showcase their initiatives and experiences since the integration of TVET in Rwanda's development goals. African ministers discussed various aspects in education, including quality and relevance of TVET to Africa's economy. This conference came at a time of concluding the MDGs and preparation for implementation of the new Global Sustainable Development Goals. Olei Diba Wada is the Executive Secretary of Association for the Development of Education in Africa, ADEA. There is the Sustainable Development Goals, which is global. And then there is a continental um, framework, to continental goal, which is the Agenda 2063 of the African Union. So our role within ADEA is to extract the education component, not just education, but education as it encompasses education as a whole, the education component of the Agenda 2063 and have it situated within the Global Sustainable Development Goals. So we, we provide, we are the implementing arm of the African Union and are the watchdog to make sure that member countries who commit to different sectors of education actually implement what they say they are. Adair believes the continent needs a thorough transition from traditionally colonial education to Africa-initiated education, which responds to needs of the continent. The TV Week was guided by the theme, Promoting Innovations in Support of Marketable Skills. Other activities held during the week include TVET Expo, a symposium, and site visiting to some TVET schools by international participants. The TVET Expo held for the fourth time was organized by the Workforce Development Authority, WDA. The Expo brought together about 250 exhibitors, both local and international from TVET schools and companies. It was held under the theme, TVET, My Skills, My Future. The best exhibitors in various categories were awarded to encourage quality service delivery. The categories included TVET schools, craft making and service providers. The symposium brought together local and international experts 
to discuss and share best practices in Tibet from their respective countries. The symposium was guided by the theme from experiences to best practices. During the Tibet week, participants visited a few role model Tibet schools to witness Rwanda's progress on the delivery of technical and vocational skills. The strategic plan Rwanda Vision 2020 seeks to raise Rwanda from its position as a low-income country to that of a middle-income country. The Ministry of Education intends to increase the current number of Tibet students from over 92,000 students to about 192,000 by 2018. The government of Rwanda continues to invest in education, especially Tibet, as a preferred choice for learners who want to acquire employable skills suitable for the labor market.